morning, Armor Insiders. Welcome to the morning meeting of the Virtual Hedge Fund. You are one of those people on the floor right now, getting yourself ready for the trading session and meeting me in the conference room so that we could talk about the stock market. We're going to go over the risk monitor. It's red. Selling is intensifying. What does that do to our portfolios? Um, so I'll go over what the portfolio looks like, top stocks that we're watching, top stocks that we might own over the next couple of days or weeks, depending on how the market plays out. Cannabis couch. Time for us to get on the cannabis couch. 420s this weekend. Got to talk about cannabis stocks. This is the this is one of the groups. This is one of the groups that marches to the beat of its own drum. So the risk monitor has less of an impact on this space. And we'll go over what that means and what the top stocks in the cannabis space that I may own in here. Um, as always. When we're done with this conversation or any other work that you do before the market opens and the bell rings, to take that information, fit it into your strategy, figure out your risk tolerance, your goals, and be the smart money. And it's already started right here. The risk monitor's red, and you can see that bar right there. Money's flowing out of big cap tech. So anybody buying big cap tech into earnings, hoping that's going to save them, maybe not the best strategy right now. Read and react to what you're getting. Let a couple leaders go. Build your whiteboard of stocks to watch leadership, see what's happening. If a couple get away from you, you'll know the market's starting to change. And then you can start getting a little more bullish. Okay. Let's shift to top stocks to watch now. I, I mean, to buy. Top stocks to buy now. All right. It is time. I know you all love it. And I love all of you for it. It's time for us to get on the cannabis count. Okay. Here's, here's MSOS. Now, what I want you to see in MSOS, this is a bigger chart, MSOS, okay? I want, what I want you to see here, and, and my question I pose to you today on the cannabis count, it, it, it's an observation and a question. First of all, 420. We all know 420. 420 is coming up this weekend. Every single year I've been investing and trading cannabis stocks. The stocks go up into 420. It, it, it's ridiculous. It, nothing ever happens. I think it's quite frankly ridiculous to think that the DEA is going to make some announcement on 420. Here's what, here's the highest probability of what's going to happen at 420. Chuck's going to come out and make some comments about weed, you know, and, you know, Camilla or whatever, the talking heads that say everything and do nothing. They'll use 420 as a platform to make a speech and nothing will come from it. All right. That, that's what's going to happen. And we're all sitting around waiting for the DEA to say, that's the highest probability trade going into 420. Let's just be honest with each other. Okay. So we're going to look at MSOS. Okay. This was the entry point as we went back above the 50 here, rallied up for a bit. We made some money on that. Pulls back, finds support right on um, the stop and goes back above the 50 day moving average and the 25 day yesterday. Finding support on the top of this pennant formation. If we zoom in a little bit, right, we're making higher lows and we're holding key level. That's all I care about. That's why I'm on the cannabis couch this morning with you. It's not because of 420. It's because of the way the price is acting. And if we and, and it's because it's a group that I can invest in if I want that doesn't follow the risk monitor. Commodities don't follow the risk monitor. Cannabis doesn't follow the risk monitor because there's other things going on in cannabis. Number one. Number two, it's not an institutional investment. I mean, nobody... Nobody cares about this space except for you and me. Seriously. I mean, seriously, it's a, it's a little niche that nobody really cares about. We're having fun with one day institutions will wake up and the thing will go berserk. Who knows when that is? The risk monitors geared towards flows of institutional capital. There's no flows of institutional capital into cannabis. Let's be clear on that. It's just you and me. We're just having fun here. So I'm going to have some exposure to MSOS based on that pattern. Where would I go? Here are my top stocks to buy. Obviously, MSOS is my number one idea, right? In the whole group, make it easy, okay? We own innovative properties in our dividend portfolio. And I submit to you, it's going to be the best investment again. I'm going to collect a fat yield. We own it in the green bar here. It ran up. We picked up a dividend payment. It's selling back off. It stays above this area, stays above the stop. This is where I want to go with some capital. It's a REIT. Now, it's going to go down because it's a REIT. If rates are going up and it's a REIT, rates are going down. So it's going to have to deal with that rate issue. But should we ever get movement on cannabis as a whole, this is going to be a great investment. So it's one of my favorites. And then I'm going to throw in two Canadian names, two Canadian names that I'm, that I'm interested in. I can't buy them when they're running. But after that last run in canopy growth, I'm starting to consider it again. I know I just that big thud you heard, that big thud you heard. <laughs> 
was Chad falling off of his seat. <laughs> you okay, Chad? <laughs> you okay? Get back up on the seat, brother. Yes, yes. I'm looking at, at canopy growth again. I've been reading some stories, uh, you know, last night, and and I don't know. It, it's getting to the point where maybe maybe I do something in canopy growth again. Okay. And you all know what I think of OGI. I, I love the story. This was the run from here to here. And then the stock, they did a secondary. They made an acquisition. The stock's down at the 200-day moving average. The time to buy these things is when they're down, not when they're running. So if I want to make an investment, I got to make them when they're down. And for, for those who question whether or not can, Canadian stocks can go up if, if um, Schedule S3 you know, is announced and DEA and all this stuff, I definitely think it does. I think that there are, and here's the, here's the simplest reason why. Let's don't overthink this. This is the simplest reason why. There are a bunch of brokerage firms that will not let you buy U.S. cannabis. And it's not like they're going to start letting you buy it the day the DEA makes their announcement. It'll take weeks, months before the compliance departments make their decisions to change all that. So when there's a flush of capital that wants to get into cannabis, they're going to buy Canadian cannabis stock. It doesn't have to make sense. It's just where capital flows. These two Canadian stocks have tentacles in the U.S. So I think both of these companies will benefit in reality because of their business structure and what they've been doing, collecting pieces on the board in the U.S. so that they can immediately prosper. So if I'm going to own something, organogram, can it be growth? Maybe I just tuck it away somewhere for a rainy day. Not even a rainy day, for when the sun comes out and the weed is growing. Um, Armor Report subscribers, there you go. You've got your list of stocks to watch, stocks to buy, risk monitor red. Be careful. More important to protect capital than capture upside. Now you're on your own for the rest of the day, and I wish you nothing but success. I'll see you tomorrow morning at 8.45. Armor Insiders, I'll see you at 9.30 on the desk. We'll start trading together, um, sharing information and seeing where we're going. So I appreciate the time you guys spend with me. All around the world, by the way, we have some new Armor um, subscribers um, all around the world. Lots of fun to work with all of you. And um, of course, if you discover you just can't be on the desk all day, you got a day job or whatever, feel free to give me a shout. We can work together in a different way to help you out. I'm happy to do that. All right, everybody, remember your marching orders. Take all the information I've shared with you and whatever else you're gathering, make it your own and be the smart money. Have a great day trip. <laughs>